inside. Swoops scores. And Swoops, who is so quick and agile. Swoops now has 11. You know, calling her a complete player. Cheryl Swoops with two defenders in her face. Swoops for three. Swoops pulls out. Over Smith. Swoops. Oh, man. 17 for Cheryl in the first half. You're looking at it. First of all, welcome back. Um, can you believe it's already been 20 years? I can't. Coach Sharp and I were talking about that um, earlier and just to be sitting here today and reminiscing about winning the Final Four um, 20 years ago, it just it, it seems so surreal to me. Let's go back before obviously winning the Final Four. When you were recruited by Coach Sharp from South Plains to come here, was there ever a talk that y'all could win a national title with you here at Texas Tech? You know, I think everybody thinks they can win a national championship. So I think for every coach, that's probably a, a selling tool and it's things you talk about because as a coach, you know that players want, their ultimate goal is to win a national championship. I, I can't remember us specifically sitting down and, you know, her saying, Cheryl, if you come to Tech, we are going to win a national championship. I know for me, it, it's definitely always been a goal of mine to be the absolute best I can be and, you know, to try to take not only my game, but my teammates um, to the ultimate level. Um, I just knew that the fit was right, uh, it was close to home, my family could come and watch me play. Um, Coach Sharp and her staff had done a remarkable job with the program already, um, and I just knew it was something that I wanted to be a part of. Let's go back to, to 1993 and the trip to Atlanta. You, you advanced to the Final Four. What do you remember from the trip, the buzz that was obviously surrounding y'all at that point? You know, one thing that I remember was everybody saying, Texas Tech, like, who, who, who is that? Um, Lubbock, where is Lubbock, Texas? And we were just a bunch of little girls from West Texas that no one had ever heard of, no one really knew anything about, and everyone was saying, oh, there's no way they're gonna win a national championship. Um, you know, we were all happy to advance to the Final Four, but I don't think any of us were satisfied. You know, and I remember Coach Sharp saying to us, um, in Missoula, Montana, which is where we beat Colorado to advance to the Final Four, saying to us, yeah, we're going to the Final Four, but we can't be satisfied with that. We're not going just to show up, we're going to actually win, win a national championship. And I can honestly say, I don't think there was one single person in that locker room that didn't believe her. You know, Coach Sharp was like your mom or a basketball god that when she says something to you, you believe it. Um, you take that and say, you know what? It's gonna happen. And I think once we got to Atlanta, Regardless of all the distractions that were going on, friends, family, I need tickets, you know, we want to do this, we want to do that, everybody was focused. And I also think because we knew no one expected us to, first of all, be there, and of course no one expected us to win. Um, so everybody was focused on the job at hand, and that was to first of all beat Vanderbilt and then to advance to the Final Four to have an opportunity to win a national championship, and we got the job done. There's no doubt you are one of the greatest Red Raiders in history. You're a champion on every level from Brownfield High School to the Olympics. What, when, when people say that, what does that mean to you? You know, I, I, don't, I don't really look at it like that. I just, I, I feel like, honestly, I've been very blessed to have such a, a wonderful career and a, a wonderful opportunity to do some things that, that not many people have an opportunity to do. Um, I've been very blessed to be surrounded by great people, both friends and family, who understand what's important to me, what my goals are, what it is I want to achieve, not only on the basketball court, but in life. Um, you know, there have been good things, there have been bad things, but those people who were my true friends continue to stick by me through the good and bad. Um, you know, I, I don't, I honestly have a hard time when people say, oh, but you're such a huge celebrity. Like, I don't, I don't use that word to talk about myself. Um, like, I tell people all the time, I came from a very small West Texas town, and you know, I just, um, I try to be 
real with everybody and, and I am who I am and you know obviously basketball has been a lifesaver for me. It's afforded me so many wonderful opportunities to travel abroad and you know meet so many wonderful people but what I have gotten out of this game out of basketball is an opportunity to now share that and now to give back things that you know maybe I didn't have and things that, that I didn't know but actually through my experiences to be able to teach those things to younger girls coming up so that you know I tell people don't strive to be you know the next Cheryl Swoop strive, strive to be the first whoever it is you are um, you know I'm just I'm, I'm very blessed in of everything I've, I've been through in my life, there's not a single thing that I would change because I feel like I've learned through all of those experiences and that's what makes me who I am today. We'll have much more from Cheryl, Coach Sharp, and the rest of the 1993 championship team leading up to the 20-year national championship reunion set for February 17th here at the United Spirit Arena as the Lady Raiders host the Texas Longhorns. Join us for the big celebration by logging on to TexasTech.com or calling 806-742-TECH to get your ticket today. You won't want to miss it.